it's happening. After Trump floods border with military, illegal caravan makes sudden shocking move. President Donald Trump warned Mexico in the caravan of illegal migrants from Central America that they should change course quickly. They didn't listen and forged on anyway with their plans to force their way into the U.S. on the assumption that Trump was all talk and wouldn't do anything about it. He wasn't messing around when he said he would arm our border with military force and proved it when he did just that on Wednesday. The National Guard immediately followed orders, flooding the border ahead of the 1,500-person army of illegals coming on the assumption that they would be accepted and considered for citizenship because they are not from Mexico, under current law, the Patriot Journal reported. Not taking Trump seriously proved to be a monumental mistake for these invaders who weren't expecting him to actually keep his word. After our soldiers showed up to face their ill-prepared army, Trump certainly got their attention and now they wish they had listened before it was too late. Faced with the fear of an actual army they have no chance of defeating, the caravanders made a sudden shocking move. AFP reports. A caravan of Central American migrants whose trek across Mexico infuriated President Donald Trump has decided not to travel to the U.S. border, leaders said Tuesday. We will wrap up our work in Mexico City, said Irene Mujica, the head of the migrant advocacy group People Without Borders, Pueblos in Fronteras. People Without Borders? This is America, a country with borders, and I'm sorry you misunderstood, but you can't invade our country. You cross our borders and we'll treat you like the invading force you are. The Republican president vowed to send the U.S. military to secure the border and threatened to axe the North American Free Trade Agreement, NAFTA, if Mexico did not stop the caravan. This is how a real leader gets things done. He knew what he needed to do and despite other people's opinions who don't like his approach, he did it anyway and it worked. Trump says what he means and does what he says and makes protecting the people of our nation a priority over those who don't respect our borders and laws. Trump was criticized for taking this action by his Democratic detractors who would rather deplete our resources for illegal immigrants than protect our country. America is not a land of open borders and never will be since that's not what makes America great. If we disregard our own laws by letting a float of people in without forcing them to follow the legal process, then we as a nation are not only disrespected by endless invaders, but would lose respect to the rest of the world who will see that we're easy to take advantage of. Once again, Trump proved to be the president he promised he would be by putting America and citizens first. As an unapologetic leader, he would rather be politically incorrect than correct, since the latter would require him to put people's safety and the future of our country in danger. That's not something he's willing to risk for the sake of making sure that liberals' sensitivities are satisfied. Ironically, this all happened on the same day that Oregon's governor said she would say no if Trump asked her to send her state's National Guard to protect the border. Her reasoning for why she wouldn't is that she was deeply troubled Trump's plan to militarize our border. Other places with borders militarize them because what's the point of a border, a wall, and laws about coming into this country if you treat it all as if it's non-existent or don't defend that? Perhaps Governor Kate Brown needs to spend some time in an open border country and see how well that's going for citizens. According to American Military News, Origin Governor Kate Brown said Wednesday she will refuse to send her state's National Guard to the U.S. Mexico border, defying President Donald Trump's order on Wednesday to do so. Brown, a Democrat, sent a series of tweets about the directive, which Trump said is to protect and enforce the border until the wall can be built. If President Trump asks me to deploy Oregon Guard troops to the Mexico border, I'll say no, she tweeted Wednesday. As commander of Oregon's Guard, I'm deeply troubled by Trump's plan to militarize our border. There's been no outreach by the president or federal officials, and I have no intention of allowing Oregon's guard troops to be used to district from his troubles in Washington, she added. Luckily for our country and even Governor Brown who benefits from being a citizen here, Trump didn't need her troops since his first round of plans for protection worked. Just like that, 1,500 are going back or deciding to follow America's laws if they want to be here, by coming in the right way.